Hi, welcome to the magic of math, where today we're going to answer standardized math test question where we are multiplying fractions. Here's our question. This question has two parts. Hi, welcome to the magic of math, where today we're going to answer standardized math test question where we are multiplying fractions. Here's our question. This question has two parts. Here's part A. Which of these expressions have a product greater than two-thirds? Select the three correct answers. Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we want to first understand that we need to find three correct answers. So that tells me I have six answer choices A through F and three of them are going to be correct. Now what are we doing? We are asked to find a product greater than two-thirds. So of the expressions, which product is greater than two-thirds? So product means I'm multiplying. So when you multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators, two times seven is 14, and then you multiply the denominators, three times eight is 24. Now we need to compare 14 24ths to two-thirds. So I'm going to simplify. This fraction, both numerator and denominator, are divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. Well, 7 is prime, so I could, this is in simplest form. So let's go look at 2 thirds and think of an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12. So if this becomes a denominator of 12, 3 times 4 would be 12. That means I need to do the same to my numerator. 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 twelfths because if I multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4, I get the equivalent fraction of 8 twelfths. Well, 7 twelfths is less than 8 twelfths, not greater. So we can rule out selection A. Now let's look at B. 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 2 is 6. So this is equivalent to 6 over 6 which simplifies to 1. 6 divided by 6, any number divided by itself, is 1. 1 is greater than 2 thirds because this is one whole and this is two parts of 3. So the product is greater than 2 thirds. Which expression has a product greater than 2 thirds? 1 is greater than 2 thirds, so there's our first answer choice that's correct. Choice C. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 5 is 15, so I have 6 fifteenths. That simplifies, these are both divisible by 3, giving me 6 divided by 3 is 2, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now though, I can't compare this to 2 thirds because we can't, we don't have a common denominator. And I can't get a common denominator with the 5 because these 3 and 5 are both prime. So I'm actually going to compare it to 6 fifteenths. Let's go write an equivalent fraction. If I multiply both the numerator and denominator by five, I'll have the same denominator. So two times five is 10, and three times five is 15. So 10 fifteenths is an equivalent ratio to two thirds. Two thirds, take both numerator and denominator, multiply by five, you get 10 fifteenths. So now we're gonna compare 10 fifteenths for our value of two thirds and see if six fifteenths is greater. 6 fifteenths is smaller, so C is not one of our answer choices. All right, answer choice D. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9, so I have 6 ninths. Now if I simplify, both are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3. We get 2 thirds. 2 thirds isn't greater, it's equal, so we're going to rule out D. Now I'm hoping E and F both are correct because I need two more correct answers. Let's check. So when you do two thirds times three, remember any whole number has a denominator of one. So this becomes two times three is six, all over three times one is three. Six over three or six divided by three is two. Two is definitely greater than two thirds. So we're gonna say E is correct. To multiply two thirds times one and one eighth, I need to take one and one eighth and write it as an improper fraction. Eight times one is eight, plus the numerator of one gives me nine over eight. 
So I'm going to multiply 2 thirds times 9 eighths because 9 eighths is equivalent to 1 and 1 eighth. Multiply my numerators. 2 times 9 is 18, all over 3 times 8 of 24. Now I need to compare these, so I'm going to simplify. They're both divided by 2. I get 18 divided by 2 is 9, 24 divided by 2 is 12, and we can use our first equivalent fraction here of 8 twelfths. 9 twelfths is 1 twelfth more than 8 twelfths, so it's greater. So therefore, F is also correct. So the answers for part A are choices B, E, and F. Here's part B. Which of the following fractions can be multiplied by 5 to get a product that is less than 5? Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're looking for a product, which means we're multiplying that is less than five, and when it's when we multiply by five, so times five. When we multiply a fraction by a whole number, we wanna consider that we're multiplying by five over one. So we're gonna multiply each of these by five over one, or five. We're gonna multiply the numerators. One times five is five. Three times one is three. We get five thirds. And that, as a mixed number, 3 goes into 5 once, with 2 left over, so 1 and 2 thirds. So is that product less than 5? It is. I'm going to check B, C, and D just to make sure that I didn't make a mathematical error and that these are all incorrect. 3 halves times 5 over 1. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 goes into 15 7 times with 1 left over. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 for 15, all over our denominator of 2. 7 and 1 half is not less than 5. 5 times 5 over 1 is going to be 25 all over 1, which is equivalent to 25. That is not less than 5. And then over here, for all intents and purposes, 1 over 1 is 1, but let's multiply it times 5 over 1. So we get 5 times 1 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 5 is not less than 5. It's equal to 5. So our answer choice for part B is definitely A. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe to show your support to the channel and come back again tomorrow for your next challenge. Have a great day.